Welcome to the Illrid Knowledge Base. In sports climbing falls, we generally face the risk of collisions with the climbing wall due to high impact forces. High impact forces can be caused by the weight ratio of B layer and climber, by high friction in the rope system, or by the behavior of the B layer. To compare the influence of the behavior of the B layer versus the friction in the rope system, we have built up a test scenario in our test tower at Illrid. We use a drop mass of 65 kilograms and a human B-layer of also 65 kilograms. Free fall height is 2 meter and anchor height is 7.5 meter. We use a semi-automatic belay device to reduce energy absorption by rope slippage in the device. In the first test, we use a system with low friction and passive behavior of the B-layer. The forces at the anchor point reach 4.0 kN. In the second test, we keep the friction in the system low, but the B-layer uses body dynamic to reduce the impact forces. The forces at the anchor point drop to 2.9 kN. We change the test setup and add high friction in the system. We simulate high friction in the system by the use of an ohm. In the first test, the B-layer stays passive again. The forces at the anchor point reach 4.6 kN due to the higher friction in the system. In the next test, we again use the ohm to simulate high friction, but this time the B-layer uses body dynamic. The forces at the anchor point drop to 2.6 kN. Now we can compare our impact values. We compare the setup's low friction, passive and active behavior with the forces of high friction, passive and active behavior. It shows that with the passive behavior, the forces between high and low friction only change for 0.5 kN. Parallel it shows that with an active behavior, the forces also change only slightly, independent from the friction in the system. Whereas it also shows that from active behavior to passive behavior, the forces can easily increase for almost 2 kN, as we can see when we compare the high friction situation active with passive behavior. Conclusion is, that the behavior of the B-layer has much higher influence on the impact forces than the friction in the system. To avoid injuries due to high impact forces and collisions with the climbing wall, a proper B-lay training is mandatory.